All right, sweetie. Well, we're finally here at the show. Yeah, our first boat show. And we are going to look at the Leopard 42, and we're going to compare it to our Leopard 44, which is literally almost the same size, but it's a different generation. Step up, and we're going to do a comparison and contrast. And so we're hoping that this is going to be a useful video for you all. This is a great boat. It's a beautiful. beautiful. It's got so many little like, upgrades to our other models. This is our latest, like just shore power on both sides, yeah. you know, things like that, oh, and yeah. soft start on the air cons, and sure. all the boats now have water purification systems oh, wow. on board. Where is the water maker on this? Underneath the port forward bunk. Wow, it's got the flexi teeth. Wow, it's looking good. Wow. That's awesome. The cushions, the faux leather, boy, those are a lot easier to clean than our canvas. For sure. Lower maintenance, nice teak table. Ooh, step up into the helm. Oh my goodness, look at this living room up here. This is pretty amazing. Wow, this is cool. Outside, I love the indoor outdoor cushions. So much easier to clean and this Flexi Teak is great. Set up just like the uh, 44 with the main sheets controlled right here. And then two winches. I'm sure one of them's a power winch, 12 inch Ray Marine. It's great. Wow, look at that. And then sitting here, it's very comfortable. Uh, don't have a view of the port side bow, but hey, we don't have one on ours anyway. There's probably a camera, sunroof. Got our light here, compass, two buttons there for the winch. Um, it's really well set up here, nicely organized. And then coming around, plenty of room, a lot more room than the 44 on the sides. Lots of light, can't wait to get inside. The glass skylight is a no step right. zone, which means that your attention from the port side to the boom or to the sail bag is very limited because you're not allowed to step on that zone. So that's a bit- It's impractical, but I'm sure if you had to step on it, you could. It's just not a good idea like the hatches. Plus, you can't put a uh, solar panel. Right, that. it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. Also, I, I don't think there's a uh, way to close off the skylight in the helm. Okay. Which means that, yes, you have access to be able to see the mainsail, yeah. but that's a really large skylight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that means that if you're at the helm and the sun is overhead, it could be quite hot in there, I would guess. It's a rough life, man. Ooh. You've got lockers up here for the sail bags, which we don't have on the 44. That's an added plus. No front cockpit here, but a lot of lounging space. And it looks like there's a lot of storage here. This is a dual trampoline right there. And I think the anchor is in the middle of the boat. Let's take a quick look what this looks like this is like one of the most important parts on a boat oh my goodness they've got a Luamar windlass which is a whole lot better than our quick piece of junk that's on our boat oh look at the shiny chrome anchor the show anchor up and down I love it I got boat Indy I want it I want it 
And then we cover that up. Boy, these pads are great. So I can lay out and get some sun cancer. All right, Flexi T coming out here. So they've got the front door. Boy, the front door really provides an incredible amount of airflow through the boat. It's a feature that we wouldn't want to live without anymore. So we've got some storage up underneath here. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of room right there. I think because of, yeah. When you I'm sure there's lots of storage space up under here. Another lazarette. Pull this up. The generator's back there. A lot of room. A whole lot of storage. Huge chain locker. You can put 400 feet in there. No storage on this side. So just one storage locker in the front. Oh, but they do have some storage hatches here. Oh, this is really nice. These self-contained hatches, huge space up here. As long as this could stay dry or partially dry, this is great storage. Uh, again, another storage space here, self-contained. Fantastic, huge. There's no access to the roof deck except through the cockpit, perhaps. Interesting that they've taken the stairs out. So we have stairs here on the side, which is really nice to have access to the roof deck. And we have solar panels up here, which are a piece of junk. I don't know why they put them on the boats, but they're horrible. Check out that uh, sunroof right there. Really nice. Rigging. The Ray Marine there. Lazy Jacks. The jib up front with the furling system. And this is very durable trampoline. I love the room that you have to walk around up here. And here we have to go all the way to the back of the boat to be able to get up on top. Look at these steps. This is really nice with the chrome down here. Check out the logo. So the downside about this window one is probably leakage, two is just reduces the amount of walking space you have up here to get access to the boom and the sail bag. So you can't put a solar panel over here and you're not supposed to step on it, but it sure is sexy, that, that light. And it looks like it has a, a panel, a little sunshade right there. Oh, this is great. Puts a whole view, meaning to the sundowner right here, the lounge. People would think that this is impractical on a cruising boat, but I think some of those impractical things are fun things. And this just kind of is a great place to separate yourself from the rest of the boat, especially like if you're working on it and it's trashed, uh, you can just get here, everything's clean, well organized.
So that's the top side. Let's go down below. Emergency rudder. Location. Engines are underneath here. A lot more space than ours. Too. Oh my gosh, look at that. God, common rail. 45, this thing has a lot of power. Common rail, engine. Golly, look at that. Sail drives, S60. Ah, this is what it is for. And then your power oh, charger. And your uh, Raycor filters, and I love this little pouch right here. You have to put some more air in the sewer. The uh, electric is really well laid out. Nice lighting in the stern cabins. This is your propane cabinet right there. Great little fridge underneath the helm station, although it is a bitch of frigo. Hey, don't I know you? <laughs> is this just, a bitch of frigo that I doesn't just, leak? I was just saying, what a bad decision to go with a bitch of frigo. But, you know. I do love that they don't have the table in here. It makes so much more room. Here we have the uh, nav station. I don't even know why they put these things on here anymore. Uh, when you have an iPad that you can plan on, to me, it's just not a very good use of space. Um, especially the redundancy of instruments. I guess if one goes out, it's nice, but these things are pretty expensive. And this is some valuable space right here. Uh, we have good storage right here. Fire extinguisher. Can never have enough of those. Whoa, look at this. Surprise storage right where the sink is. On this side, I bet this is the trash can. No, oh, look at that little pull out. And then storage here. Um, I'm not going to push that out of the way. We'll just take word for it. That's got to be just regular storage. Okay. Ah, storage here. That's really good to have. Put cans and all that stuff. Load up for that big offshore trip. Love the switches. Here, now we have it. TV, not much use for this, but I like the uh, getting the microwave out of the way. You know, ovens, which are just really horrible in terms of their ability to control the heat. But some really nice storage units and spaces here. built-ins for silverware. The trash disposal underneath the sink, which is great. I'm not sure. Oh, so I guess you can store your chemicals here. A lot of space in here. Single sink. Some people like the double. space. Nice and clear. What do you think about the salon? I love the big windows and all the light that's coming in, which is fantastic. It also makes it really hot, which is not so good, but I guess you can cover them. So, uh, but really, really pretty in here. Yeah, the, the windows are a lot taller and they're straight up. Oh, and I love the uh, recessed lighting right here. And did you see it's the, really nice. um, the sunroof sort of? Oh yeah, with the oh. with the shade. Yeah. Look how nice the upholstery is. All right, heading down to port side, where there are two cabins. 
I love this open feel that it's not enclosed, which is amazing. And wow, the bathroom is so much bigger than our bathrooms. This is beautiful. Beautiful cabinet. Oh, this is really nice. Some storage under the sink. We definitely don't have that. Um, I like the faux wood. Oh, and a built-in garbage can. That is amazing for the toilet paper because you can't flush it down the toilet. Um, and I love that they've simplified it to just pump in and pump out. This is great. And this looks like one of those whale scuppers. So there's no more pumping out of water. You're just, as the water goes down, it sucks the water down immediately. There's no shower pump that you need to pump the water out. Well, this is beautiful. I am always in the floor, so I'm gonna look at the floor space. Beautiful under bed cabinets. Great storage space, that's wonderful. Um, these steps to go up, I would actually take those out given that you don't really need them and extend the bed, but some nice shelving space on both sides, which is great. I do like that, although this bulkhead prevents you from having a wider bed. Take a look at the build. Oh my gosh, look how easy that is to access. That's amazing. The windows in the 42 and the stern cabin are amazing. The amount of sunlight and light that's coming in. Great storage here as well. Under the bed storage. Take a look at this. Oh, the fresh water tank is here. Interesting, right in front of the stern bed. It looks like they have a gulper in there. Moving down to the owner's cabin. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, it's so wide. This hole is incredibly wide. It's almost like they've compensated on this hole compared to the other. With the open doorway, which is incredible, making it just feel so much bigger. Again, the vertical windows are fantastic and the big windows. You can take out the shelving if you wanted to to make a king size bed, although this looks almost like a king now. Not so keen on this side entrance loss of the mattress here. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. You're gonna oh, scoot wow. in and scoot out anyway. Great floor storage and under bed storage. Beautiful hardware. Oh man, look at that mirror. I'm um, curious how, if they've got more storage behind here. Oh no, interesting. They lock it now. Yeah, they lock them. So that's a little bit harder to have access if they lock them. The water storage, which is great. So I guess it takes the, a little bit of the weight out of the yeah. front of the boat. I just find this to be a bit of a waste of space. No one will, I mean, what woman actually uses we a have that and It is a true waste, a waste of space. Of space. Yep. We've, <laughs> we've thought the same thing. This is nice, USB yeah. and chargers, that is great. I like the, uh, I like all the draw space. Yeah, they are nice. This is great. Have the self-draining that yeah, is yeah, really yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But that's beautiful. Look at all that storage yeah. space in here yeah. for linens or whatever you need to. It's great. Oh, look at all that space. Uh, they still put this funky insulation in that, yeah, the stuff falls apart and then gets, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I've had to clean, I've had to clean ours out in the hole. It's interesting, there's no storage in there. Oh, look at this. Okay, that's wow. a couple of uh, yeah. Man, that's huge. A lot of mirrors. Here's the shore power. Here's where you add your diesel. And here's where you get off the boat. Nice data. And we've got the electric winch. Up there, not sure how. Oh, we can see it. That's a BRX25 5 right there. I think that's the same one we have a war. Here we are on top of the leopard. 50 and we're overlooking the tour that we just took on the uh, beautiful 42 which a lot of you haven't seen yet and we'd just like to take this time to uh, compare and contrast with the 44 the one that we have and by the way you all if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button down there uh, hit the like button we love it when you share and we want to hear from you we'll get right back to you so leave some comments now, on to the 42. Walking into the rear cockpit, what were your impressions? Uh, it's very, very pretty. I am I'm not a big fan of the wood table. I like the gel coat table that we have. Totally. Uh, I feel like the wood table takes it back to a traditional boat instead of it being the modern boat that it is. So I was not a big fan of that. Yeah, I, me either. I thought it looked really out of place. And uh, the only wood we have on our boat is this outdoor swim ladder. And we just replaced one of the rungs, which was broken. And I want to have as little wood on my boat as possible. Yeah. But I did, I did like the orientation of the table. So it does have a bit more of a, a full sectional feel and look, which is really nice. I think the refrigerator underneath the helm station is fantastic to a utilize that space. Did that have an ice maker in it? I think it was just a fridge. Sure. So, uh, but to have to utilize that space is really important, and then also just to have the access to uh, a cool fridge without having to go into the Vitrofrigo, the main one. Totally. When you've got guests, people can put things in that that they can get to put drinks only out there. One thing that I really liked was the faux leather and all the seats on the outside and how the cushions are attached and how easy it is to clean those up our canvas cushions we have mildew on them all the time and we are constantly having to maintain those and this you can just wipe off after a rainstorm and i just think they're great now hopping up into the helm station what did i you think? actually didn't go into the helm the uh the helm was nice the helm seat's nice one thing they don't put on there is they don't put a place to rest your feet but it was very well organized um not a whole lot different than the 44 but it was just really just rock solid. I don't think there's a lot of changes to that area. The glass and the bimini to be able to see the sail is, I like the orientation being uh, lengthwise. The downside is really big and it, when the sun is overhead, that would be really hot in there. And the main sheets are pretty much adjusted just like the 44. Yes. I didn't see, we like that system because it prevents an accidental job. 
What did you think about the roof? Yeah, the roof is beautiful. I had some a, big changes up there, big right? Big changes. You don't have any um, steps up to the roof except from the port side entrance. Whereas on the 44, you have the steps up both of the sides, which I really like that. It seems like they're exchanging the cockpit, the front cockpit for the roof cockpit, which is interesting as well. I do like the roof better than the front cockpit. What did you think? So I really like this lounge area. It's a great yeah. privacy thing and you can watch the sunsets. That's why we have the boat. The sunroof on the top is cool. You can block the sun from the inside, which is nice. I think it's a good upgrade. We are on to the front cockpit area, which is probably the, one of the most different things. What do you think about it? I like it. I do like you, that you can sit up there, but I do like that the salon is bigger because it doesn't lose the space for the sitting area. There's only one locker up there, but it's pretty big, so that's good. A chain locker that's in there, it's huge. Huge chain locker, huge. So we just added, we just uh, jumped up to 300 feet, which barely fits in ours, but you could put 400 easily in this chain locker. I love the access to hatches up front to enter into the forward bow is that's amazing because right now on the 44 you don't have any access there so and we have that space but forward berth you have to go through to get to that storage area which is just impossible to reach so I do love that access. Totally and the good thing is up front they still have a beautiful door yeah. which is ventilation and I think that over anything else is a reason to buy a leopard. Now I love the build quality and lagoon on lagoons. Yes. I mean they're really nice. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't gone to the front door. Um, just having that breeze in there is just yeah, a fundamental a thing that would make me be a leopard customer over a lagoon customer. Yeah. Let's go to the salon. Yes. Huge. Talk about it huge improvement with taking the big table out. I yep. love that they have, well, I don't like that small table that they have, but I love that they don't have the big table that just takes up a huge amount of space. So it just really opens up the salon area. And sure. Skylight brings in a lot of light, which is really wonderful, making that area just um, brighter and, uh, and beautiful. Talking about uh, the windows, this oh, on the yeah. sky, the windows are more straight up they're rectangular and they're taller. Yes. And so there's a lot more uh, greenhouse space in there, not in a bad sense, but just uh, areas to look out, light coming in. A huge disappointment. They're still using Vitrofrigo refrigerators and Eno stoves. It's just a shame that they have not upgraded to something that is actually reliable, but that's a dory for another day. I do love the extension that they've made on the countertop out from the, the front cockpit exit. Gives you a little bit more space, seems like it anyway. A lot more storage space for uh, anything you need in the kitchen, which is great. I don't know what the storage under the seating was. I didn't look. I didn't either. That's probably where the air conditioning is. Yeah. But the floor, the floor the air storage conditioning was, was, great. was a lot deeper than uh, Yeah, and there's a lot storage. more of it. Also, uh, they planned that out really well. And the hardware was the hardware is beautiful. really nice. It's uh, You're getting into you know, a higher grade of workmanship, although everything is still Formica type material, uh, marine plywood, you're getting a little bit higher uh, level of craftsmanship and fit and finish. Going down to the owner's cabin on the owner's, port side. Let's go to the owner's cabin. Owner's cabin was so wide, incredibly yeah. wide. I can't believe it. Plus they really could ditch that vanity desk. Oh gosh, the I mean, vanity. that is the biggest waste of space. But the bathroom is really nice. But from a practical standpoint, being a full-time cruiser, having a four cabin is more practical. And also from a weight distribution yes, standpoint, for storage. you can more easily balance out the weight, starboard and port. And this is especially important on the front of your boat yes. that you that you have that done. I did like the access to the bilges. Uh, I did look at all of them and there's Good. a lot of space to work in the bilge and it's really neat. That is a, that is a dream for the bilge babe. And the and beds the, were queen size in the stern and there was a lot of light. My goodness, yeah. tons of light coming in and ventilation. This is a feel good thing. I don't know how practical it is when all that stuff starts leaking, 
down the road you're gonna have to deal with that sometimes i wish our boat didn't have any windows in the hull yeah under the bed there's a pull draw that's really nice for under bed storage instead of just the shelves that we have a uh, really really nice space i liked it there's a built-in washing machine um forward oh, yeah. on the owner's cabin and oh. i love that all of the bathrooms have the, the gulper, the, gulper, the whale gulper. Whale gulper, and I noticed the angling of the shower floor it was was really fantastic for drinking. Well, let's talk about the port side guest quarters. The forward cabin on the on the port side, the bed is super small. Ah, uh, I was thinking it was better, but it's not. You don't mm -hmm. think it is? Okay. Oh, it's a lot smaller. Okay. Overall, I love the Leopard Forty Two. That's a sexy cab. It's one generation. Newer than ours, and it's a. I think it's bigger on the inside because of the hull designs. You have more space, and it's amazing all the feedback that they get and the new materials that they use and the improvements that they make from uh, feedback from the uh, Leopard customers and charter customers. And they've really made good use of that in this boat. Um, the only problem is, for all of you who are out there looking at this boat and saying, oh, that's sexy too, ooh la la, if we priced this boat out to have what we have on our boat, our Leopard 44, it would be around $900,000. And this thing's gonna depreciate super fast. Your insurance is gonna be higher. But as far as entertainment's concerned, this has so many areas it has one less space on the front cockpit but i think they've made up with that in spades by having the lounge on the back but that's a great space up there and talking about the color yeah so they've trended back to the darker color which i am not a fan of and you all this is what they do with new designs they're constantly changing it so it looks different to give you a new it's reason. It's just our opinion, um, yeah. but we just, I just don't prefer the gray, the darker gray um, look. You know, me, I, I thought it was fine. Um, okay. I'm just glad they didn't go with the old fashioned kind of orangey cherry, um, but I thought it was okay, but I get where you're coming from. Just a lot of innovative changes on this boat that make this a Brighter, must have lighter. boat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I, and, it is beautiful. And, you know, if I could switch and just switch over to this boat, I would in a heartbeat, but we love our boat. But would I get one of these six years from now? I'd definitely consider it. Heck yeah. This is a beautiful boat. They really did a good job. Yeah. Anything else? No, let's go look at boats. Let's do it.